All right, y'all, you already know. So, Bronny James had a pretty solid game against the San Diego Clippers over the weekend. He scored 14 points, uh, three rebounds, and he shot, what, around 40% now. He was 0 from 4 from the arc, which I don't think he's scored a 3 yet since he's been a, been a pro. But uh, regardless, this brought up a question on Gil's arena. And Gil and uh, Cheryl Swoops and Rashad McCanson, they were all just talking about Bronny. And Gil had brought up that basically that Quincy, that's because Bronny's playing with Quincy. Maybe Quincy can teach him about having that 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 inner instinct, you know, the 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 I'm, I'm, I guess I'll say the Kobe Mamba mentality where you gotta get it because you gotta do what you gotta do to make the team. And he also brought up brought up how Quincy was passing out his resume to different teams when he would go try out. And Rashad McCants was saying that Bronny should have done he he could have got all that in college. That all could have been developed in college. And Gil talked about how he had that mama mentality instinct where I'm gonna go out there and destroy every everybody on the court before he got to high school and that's that caused a big argument but Gil did say that Bron he doesn't feel that Bronny is ready for the NBA at this moment but once he develops it you know he'll he'll be fine if he's able to find that drive and look I, I, I you can tell they're still tiptoeing around and I understand because a lot of them probably cool with LeBron well Rashad McCants he keep it honest he, he don't care. He even talked about how he was only drafted because of Bronny. And, I mean, because of his dad, LeBron. And if he was anybody else, he wouldn't have been in the, M the NBA. Let me say this, honest. You have to find the love no matter who you are. Deion said that to Deion Sanders Jr. Like, oh, I remember one time, or Bucky, as people call him now. He talked about how he wakes up with Versace sheets. And it's, and it's hard to have that drive in you when you wake up like that. And... You know, there's athletes out there that, that did have it. Peyton Manning had it. He came from a well-to-do family. His dad was a pro. Kobe Bryant's dad was a pro and he had it in him. I mean, I mean, honestly, there's 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 plenty of people out there, right? But you have to find that within you. Bronny may not have it. Jason Whitlock, who I don't always agree with, actually said something. When you went to the press conference, Bronny was up there pretty much in a sweat house with a hoodie and all of that. This is your first introduction. While Dalton Connect was up there in a suit. And it makes sense because everybody knew that Bronny was going to be a pro, so he never really had to go through the same process. And when I'm saying pro, I mean a Laker. Everybody knew that. Dalton Connect, I believe he started out at at a junior college and he went to Holy Cross and he ended up going to Tennessee. So he was what a four or five year player. So he had to start literally from no ranks all the way up where Brody was a McDonald's All-American. And a lot of people question that. Went to USC, came off the bench, averaged what five points, never seemed like he was the best player on the team and still get drafted by the Lakers with a guaranteed contract. And then you have people like Gil say, well, man, he's fifth, fifth overall pick, but yeah, look at how much hype and endorsements and everything else that he's. Getting. So I don't know. I don't know if Bronny ever had that. And that just, that honestly, that goes with not just Bronny, but a lot of, a lot of times, a lot of players, a lot of people in general, you have the, you have your kids and just because you came from nothing, when you have it and your kids have it at a young age, they may not necessarily have that same hunger. And I can say the same thing with me and my son. What drives me is a totally different situation that what drives my son. I have to tell him that all the time. Like you have to find something within you when you out there on the football field. For me, I was trying to get out of my town. I was trying to get out of my hometown. I knew it wasn't nothing there but despair. So I had to make it by any means versus, you know, my son and certain other people, you grow up in the suburbs, it may not necessarily seem like that. You may never see yourself living outside of the means because you got everything you need. But if Brody really wants to be a part of pro, oh, well, one more thing, Rashad McCann said this as well. How you got a killer instinct or this mama mentality instinct on the court, but you only playing half, half time. You're not even playing your part time. You're not even playing a full season with the G League. You're only playing at home game. That's what I'm saying. This is this coddling, you know, trying to not throw him into the fire, but that's how you get that drive in. Rodney might mess around and start playing on the, going on the road. And next thing you know, his confidence goes up and you know, people are constantly booing him and he want to prove to people that he's wrong. All that can make a difference. Even Aaron Rodgers looks at things that people said and uses as fuel. Michael Jordan did it, so on and so forth. But I personally feel like Bronny, again, if Bronny would have stayed for three to four years in college, that could have developed his confidence, which would have returned could have easily transitioned into the NBA. If anything, he's older, he's bigger, he's stronger. He may still grow, you never know. But just IQ everything, and he was, and he would have been able to adjust to the speed of the game. And that's honestly what I think. It seemed like when Bronny got to the to college, he 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 didn't adjust. He never had time. And I understand he had a health scare, you know, or health issue. But that should have been an even more. Re look at uh, Sharif. Sharif O'Neal stayed in college. 
three, four years. And now he's on the Sacramento Kings, I believe, on the G League team or something in regards to that. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Do y'all agree, disagree? Do you think that Bronny will be a pro two, three years from now? I mean, I think it's possible, but if Bronny doesn't want it for himself and maybe he, he's rather play games, video games and stuff, and that's cool too, his millionaires doing that. Hell, even billionaires now. But if he doesn't have that in them, I don't know. I just don't, I just don't know. I don't know. But let me know what y'all think.